Today's Catholic Mass readings and reflections, September 1, 2022, Thursday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. Personal Reflection Today's world is one where everything is manufactured and superficial. Am I prepared and willing to put up with adversity and make sacrifices for my fellow humans? Do I believe that in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, I must become a follower of Jesus? Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video's content. Please share with your friends. Please share on Facebook, WhatsApp and Telegram groups. If you have any prayer requests, please leave them in the comments section. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe and click the bell icon. Please help us grow our channel by offerings. Thank you. First reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the 1st Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 18 to 23. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool, so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God. For it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future all belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm. Your response to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Your response to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord? Or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Your response to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Saviour. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Your response to the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia, come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and I have caught nothing, but at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. 
they signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. The first reading for today teaches us that while the things we have now are ours and serve as a support for us on the road to heaven, the things yet to come will bring us enduring joy at the conclusion of our journey. All good belongs to us and is assuredly ours if we are members of Christ and are faithful to him. The wise men's self-flattery and egoistical thoughts are weakness, pride and vanity. These are transient and we lie to ourselves by using them. All of these look ridiculous in the presence of God. The reading for today exhorts us to practice humility and follow the genuine teachings of Christ. It also exhorts us to benefit from God's greatest bounties and mercies. Everything belongs to us and provides the possibilities for us to get ready for life in paradise. Let's give ourselves our sorrows, tears and pains as well as the mental tension they bring to the creator of the universe and ask him to lead us and wash away all of these things with the precious blood of his son. Because God made peace with himself via Christ, he has lavished the riches of his grace on each and every one of us. We are the property of Christ and Christ is the prophet, property of God. In today's gospel reading, it is discussed how to follow Jesus and his teachings. Jesus spread his message of redemption through every scenario and situation. It serves as a reminder that like Peter, we must acknowledge our sinfulness and need for forgiveness if we are to follow Christ. We may see that Jesus is asking us to follow him in our own unique ways, in our day-to-day -day lives as well. We will receive enough wealth and health from God. The last few words, they left everything and followed him, are the ones that convey the true meaning here. The fishermen left their impressive catch behind. As those who have been baptized, we need to consider what our faith really means. We must understand that material prosperity is meaningless because it will all be destroyed when we die and return to the earth. We must make sure that while we are still living, we emulate Jesus in everything we do. Prayer Lord God, I thank you for August and everything I was able to accomplish in the name of your most holiness. 
Lord, I also appreciate you instructing me to put out into the deep ocean, just like you did for Simon. You are prepared to astound me with the heights I can reach and the work you can accomplish through me. Lord, keep me from settling for a normal life and from feeling satisfied. Allow me to see your presence in my everyday interactions. Lord, I offer my abilities and talents to you as the September begins. And I urge you to show me how I could use them wisely. Give me the bravery to move forward in a fresh way while knowing that you are always at my side. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.